The Mackey project isn't the only area undergoing changes. The Northwest site project is also underway with work beginning last month. Very soon, the project will bring great improvements to the varsity soccer complex, as well as a brand new baseball stadium. A very exciting project where we're going to build a new baseball stadium and make some just tremendous renovations and improvements at the soccer complex. So um, they have already started work in that area. The, uh, the site work in terms of clearing trees and beginning to move dirt, uh, those kinds of things are underway. People are, will be surprised at how early on we begin doing work inside the soccer complex. And uh, the old soccer press box uh, is going to be torn down very quickly. They will be blocking off certain areas inside the soccer complex where the new building will be built. They'll start to put foundations in that area for the, for the new building. There has to be some adjustment to the old practice field, the west field, that field, entire field, has to be moved west about uh, 10 to 20 yards, and so there'll be some adjustment made there. In terms of the existing competition field, we're not going to do any work to the field itself. Uh, as most people recall, we rebuilt that field about three years ago, and it's really a great field. It's been draining very well. All the players uh, and coaches love the field. Uh, our visiting teams that come in really like the way the player the field plays. So we're not going to make any adjustment to the field itself. However, we are going to install lights on that field and we're going to install some new uh, concrete walkways that go around the perimeter of the field. And that work's going to begin early this spring and we're going to try to complete that before our season in 2011 starts. So that's about mid-August. And uh, so there's a lot of work that's going to take place inside the soccer complex that will be visible when people come to games this fall. And I think that's really an exciting thing for the soccer program. Now, the new building inside soccer will not be completed until spring of, of 2012, uh, but the work will be ongoing all through the fall and, and so on. People are going to be able to see that building start to take shape. The area will be fenced off. Uh, it's not going to be accessible to people, but they're going to be sitting directly adjacent to that work when they're at the soccer games this fall in 2011. So it'll be exciting for them to be able to see that work progress and, uh, and start taking place and be ongoing all through the season. At the same time, we're doing all that work inside soccer. They'll be working on the new baseball stadium just to the west of the soccer facility. And that work uh, is going to be ongoing from, um, well, from right now, because they've already started, uh, as I say, moving dirt and clearing uh, some of the old trees and scrub brush out of the way. So uh, from right now, that work will be ongoing uh, in, a, in about a 14th or 14 or 15 month run all through this summer, fall, uh, through the winter, leading into next spring with the uh, target date of about April 1 to be able to start playing games in that new baseball stadium. So a lot of work to be done there, a lot of excitement coming up and it's all just now starting out at the Northwest site. When the baseball team opens the home season in the spring of 2012, it will certainly be the beginning of a new era. They've called Lambert Field home since it opened in 1965. For Boilermaker All Access, I'm Lisa Singleton.